Hey guys, Southern Comfort here. Well, the Arctic storm is starting to come in on the east coast of North Carolina. The rain is starting to fall onto the greenhouse and I'm in preparation preparing for this uh, Arctic storm. So I've got my bubble wrap. I got two footers on the side, cut them out, measured, cut it out, and put them in between the boards, like over here. And it worked out really great instantly. I could tell a difference in the temperature probably about two hours ago though. I got my plant blanket cover, frost freeze protection that's laid over. I got a four footer bubble wrap laying on top, stuck down to help brace it. Last year I had it set up like this without the uh, two footers down there, bubble wrap, just had the blanket. I had six mil plastic covered the top and then I stuck this down the sides all the way to the very bottom of the raised bed on the other side. So now I'm fixing to continue on and doing the other side. What I'm going to end up doing is uh, I didn't make it there today to go to Lowe's and get some of those uh, little joist wires that you that you hold insulation up up under your house because this side wall over here is a little bit lower than this side wall over here those are staying in pretty well but i didn't want to cut my bubble wrap and i, I still want to get some and put it in there to help with that because of wind maybe i'll get some tomorrow so you can hear the rain coming in. I took as many, as much vegetables I could take out last night. Potatoes, probably got about five pounds of potatoes. Um, cabbages, I think about six uh, heads of cabbages. Uh, broccoli, I only got one broccoli left in here. And uh, a couple of cauliflowers I took out. The rest of the cauliflowers are not ready. And uh, so took out and I took all the tomatoes out. Took the tomatoes out, except that one tomato over there. I started to take it out, but I can say that could be my experiment. You know, I'm just gonna just go with it, and um, because those are so small, I got tons of tomatoes in the house from the greenhouse, and I was just gonna throw them to the chicken. So I decided to leave it there, so I can just do a little test run on this. Well, guys, I just want to show you my frost freeze protection here into the greenhouse. I got this at Lowe's into the insulation department. And I really do love it. I really do like that. Uh, what I'm gonna end up doing when I take these out, I'll just label every one of them because the measurements on the, on the sides is a little bit different um, all the way down. It's just a little bit differently. And that way, the next time I need to put them up, all I got to do is put them in because I'll know exactly where they go. It didn't take very long to do this. Simply, these are two footers and then just simply measure and, and took scissors and cut and put in place. Well, guys, thank you so much. I hope that y'all be safe out there into this Arctic storm that's going across the United States. I think it's what I've heard was 59 states. And uh, I'm going back to go ahead and get the rest of the greenhouse protected here. I'm going to be putting blanket cover over that. That will not have any insulation to cover going over it, but mostly these are with well, the cabbages. Yeah, see, well, yeah, just the cabbages. The cabbages and the garden peas and the onions and chard and kale and the rest of it are pretty much uh, summer crops, but we'll just see how it goes. I'm just going to put the blanket over the cattle panel and then I'm going to be using these posts here since I don't have any plants to hold them up I'm just going to be using those posts right there I've got three sitting down there and I'm just going to put them down here and then I'll be able to hang my frost freeze protection blanket over so last year um, I did like I said put the plastic up under my bows here put the blank frost freeze protection blanket and then put the six mil plastic and then I did have the bubble wrap sitting further down on the sidewall and it came up to help shield from this plastic here. And it really did work. So we're going to see how it works 
as far as this middle right, right here and not putting plastic on. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you on to the next video.